Hello, my little heroes. Welcome back to Reading for Purpose. I am so happy that we're having our reading adventure time. So I hope you're snuggled in or that you're lounging around in a nice quiet area where you could hear this fun, cute story that we'll be reading today. Um, and I guess the theme that I'm looking for is because it's Mother's Day in a couple days. So I kind of want to give you books that you can get some creative ideas on how to celebrate um, your beautiful mother. And for those that don't have a mom, I apologize apologize um but take a take a moment and um appreciate how you can value those um, women that god has placed in your life or um that you have kind of looked up to in some way or as a role model and see how you can take the good qualities of them and be able to apply it to your life to be everything that the lord jesus created you to be so, um, as I said, the story is based on, one, learning the lessons that you can take for yourself to be better, to build yourself, and also seeing any creative ideas that you can celebrate your mom or your grandmother or any woman that has been inspiring to you or has been a help in your life or has been a motivator in your life, a teacher in your life, um, even a Sunday school teacher in your life, or just a friend in your life. Um, so, yeah, sit back and let's have fun. And at the end of the lesson, we'll talk on what lessons we're learning. At the end of the reading, I should say, we'll talk on the lessons that we learned and a Bible verse that you can meditate on throughout the day. Today's story is Even Firefighters Hug Their Moms, written by Christine Cole McLean and illustrated by Mike Reed. And today, let's see if they have a summary in the front of the book like we've been saying. Well, no, not in this one, but there's a little summary in the back of the book. So I'm just going to read that to you real quick. Let's see what we'll be reading. Time for a hug. Who has time for hugs when they're busy fighting fires, driving ambulance, and rocketing off to Mars? This little boy and his sister pretend to be all kind of heroes but they won't take a break to give mom a hug. She reminds them that even firefighters hug their moms, but it's beginning to look like she'll never get a cuddle. So let's see what the story says. Even firefighters hug their moms. cute little picture and this picture it's an acknowledgement it says to Clark and Madeline who daily take me places I never could have imagined CKM to Jane Alex and Joe MR so this is an acknowledgement to these um, individuals I guess uh, let's see hold on one second oh yes it's an acknowledgement by the author and the illustrator I guess to those people that have inspired them or have been a blessing in their lives my name is Big Frank and I'm a firefighter every morning I get up and look at the newspaper to find out where the fires are then I get dressed in my protective gear Ooh, so we have a little firefighter that we're reading about. My air tank and face mask help me breathe, even if the smoke is as thick as a milkshake. I climb onto my hook and ladder truck and drive to the fire. Sometimes firefighter Sally comes with me. Ooh, so he has a little helper. When we get to the fire, we rush into the burning building. How about a hug? My mom asks as I run by. Too busy fighting fires, I say. Even firefighters hug their moms, she says. You'll see on the book that um, the word fire was written. So here, this is a library book. So again, I just want to emphasize to all those that rent library books or that borrow anything from anybody. Remember, it's very important to respect other people's property. If we damage property or break it, 
that is called vandalism and vandalism is wrong so let's be kind let's care for others and let's respect others property continuing forward in the story my name is officer dave and this is rex my police dog we stand guard at the door and when criminals come by i announce it on the loudspeaker to warn everyone stand back i say criminals coming through Ooh, so now our firefighter has turned into a police officer then we lock up all the criminals in jail my mom walks by don't worry about your safety ma'am i say we've got you covered how about covering me with a hug she asks no time i say we've got to serve and protect even police officers hug their moms she says my name is joe and i'm an emt that's short for emergency medical technician my partner junior is in training i'm teaching her everything i know over the radio we hear about an accident and we spring into action we bandage up the man's cuts and scrapes and put him on a stretcher we give him a bowl of ice cream to make him feel better then we race to the hospital we keep the siren on the whole way Woo! kind of like the ice cream part ice cream to get all better mm, now that's my kind of treat my mom is waiting at the hospital can i have a hug she asks when we get to the emergency room trying to save some lives here i say even ambulance drivers hug their moms she says Maybe ambulance drivers do, I say, but I'm an EMT. Wow, he must be so busy that he can't give his mom a hug. Kind of wonder how mom feels. Do you think she feels happy or sad that she's not getting a hug? My name is Dan and I'm a construction worker. I drive a front loader. I make the yellow light flash. When I back up, the beep, beep, beep tells everyone to get out of the way. Sometimes people watch me work. They ask if they can help. I say thanks, but no. Better leave the heavy work to the pros. Can you take a coffee break and give me a hug, my mom shouts. Coffee breaks over, I shout back. Even construction workers hug their moms, she says. I'm Captain Steve, and I'm a helicopter pilot. I work for the Coast Guard. I rescue people from their boats during hurricanes and tornadoes and other gigantic storms. My partners use a winch to pull them to safety. Can I hug the hero? My mom asks. I shake my head. It's just part of the job, I say. Even helicopter pilots hug their mom, she says. Whoop, 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 Go the blades. Sorry, I can't hear you, I yell, pointing up at the blades. My name is Sam, and I'm the conductor of this train. Tickets, please. I call to the people waiting to get on. I take their tickets as they board. One of them tries to sneak a pig on board. No farm animals, I say. This is a passenger train. What do you get when you buy a ticket, a lady asks. You get a ride to Chicago, I say. Snacks? No, but you can buy food in the dining car. Hugs? No, no hugs, only a ride to Chicago. Even conductors hug their mom, she says. Woo-woo, goes the whistle. 
all aboard i say this train is leaving the station my name is neil and i'm an astronaut this is my rocket yesterday i went to the moon don't believe anyone who tries to tell you it's made of cheese moon made of cheese i haven't heard that before it's made out of rock trust me today i'm going to mars i radio mission control when they give me the thumbs up i blast off that sounds fun. What's Mars made of, my mom asks. I tell her, Legos. I'm surprised you came back, she says. I'm here to get my Lego men. Then I'm going back again, I say. Any chance you'll give me a hug first, she asks. No, I say. Wait just a minute, Buster, she says. I gave you directions to Mars. A quick hug doesn't seem like too much to ask. I shrug. Well, it's a little hard to hug when you're wearing a bulky spacesuit. Huh? She says. Even astronauts hug their mom. My name is Rick and I'm a garbage tr I'm a garbage truck driver. I stop at each house and pick up trash, like worn out toasters, slimy food wrappers and pacifiers that are bad for the baby's teeth. I turn on the crusher. It mashes everything down so more trash will fit. It goes clunk. Whenever a lady throws something out by mistake, I get it back for her. Sometimes the lady is so happy that she tries to give me a hug. I let her because... Why do you think he lets her give, her a, give him a hug? Let's see. Even garbage truck drivers hug their moms. Sometimes... That's so beautiful. So here we see this little boy who's having a blast in being different types of heroes that we find throughout our community. And it's nice that he's taking time to enjoy himself playing and learning as he plays. But an important lesson is to love and appreciate your mom and those that God has placed in your life. The Lord Jesus, our Lord and Savior, is all about love. And as his children, he calls us to live love, live the love of Christ. And how do we do that? Yes, we say, I love you. But above all, love is not only a word. It's, an, it's followed by action. So that means take time to build into the lives of those that are building into your life. Appreciate them. Respect them. Listen to them love them, be there for them, and help them in any way you can. Remember, you don't have to do something big to be a blessing. Even the small things count. So be there. Just like listening is such a small task, but it makes a big difference. So be that difference that the Lord Jesus called you to be. Be the blessing. Be the change that makes change. And before I let you go today, I just want to give you this verse. And it is 1 Corinthians. Hold on one second. Um, I'm sorry. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. It is written in the Bible. Let all your things be done with charity. That means in everything you do, do it with love another word for love is charity so remember in everything you do don't complain don't murmur but walk in love live in love so in everything 
do it in the love of Christ Jesus. And remember, Mother's Day is coming up. So if you can, find a way that you can be a blessing to your mom or other women that have taken time to build into your life, to bless your life, and to be the change, the positive change that is so needed in your life. Again, I thank you so much for taking some of your precious time to spend some time with me. Thank you for visiting a lesson for day 11. Um, oh my God. Thank you for visiting Reading for a Purpose. Bye. While you're here, you like, subscribe, and push that notification button. That's right. <laughs>